Good morning, good morning. It's nice to see you. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Hi, everybody. Connie Murphy over 70, still glamorous. Well, uh, here I am another day. I've uh, been taking care of business. You know, I've been to a dentist appointment. I've been to get x-rays for my hip. Uh, finally got the bed and mattress for my mom. And uh, it was the strangest thing for me because last night, when I went to sleep, I had a hard time going to sleep because uh, we got all the hospice stuff done and everything like that. And uh, I lay there thinking a feeling like I had given up on my mom, you know, as far as her life. And I thought, Lord, why am I feeling like this? Uh, she's very comfortable in the bed. All of my brothers and sisters were here yesterday to visit. Um, I don't know, it was, it was just very odd. And I thought to myself, oh goodness, Connie, don't tell me you're going to get off hospice again and uh, just deal with the blood transfusions two or three times a year. And uh, I don't know, it, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's uh, odd to me, bizarre. And uh, so I know, I don't know, I, I'm going to try to work this out from my head. But I, another uh, thought that was going through my mind last night was, I'm saying, well, here I've given up on my mom. I've put her on hospice. They, they'll just be doing things to take care of her when the time comes, because right now nothing has really changed, you know, uh, still doing whatever I do. And, you know, she's eating a little bit less and being a little bit more finicky. But other than that, there's like no major changes. And uh, a lot of times I still feel like she's gonna have a pretty pretty long life. But all my brothers and sisters yesterday were saying, no, that's not what they saw. So, uh, you know, I mean, really only, only God knows. So I started thinking, here I am feeling like I'm giving up on my mom's life and how am I going to go around looking all chipper and as, you know, attractive as I can? And uh, well, these two thoughts are clashing in my mind. So I don't know where it's coming from. You know, I think I'm doing the right thing. Uh, and then last night, it's like it was kind of blowing up in my face. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to uh, try to continue where I'm at right now for at least a month. So this is uh, February. So by March 21st, if I'm still feeling like I'm doing something wrong by putting my mom on hospice, uh, because don't forget, I can always get a bed and a mattress without being on anything. So uh, give me your thoughts on that. Did anybody have those same feelings when they uh, put their parent, parent or parents on hospice and uh, just kind of let it do its own thing? I don't know. But another thing, you know, when they brought the bed and the mattress, they had an oxygen tank and they had a nebulizer machine and they had uh, low pain medication and high pain medication and morphine and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So I'm thinking, oh my God, where did I get myself into? I'm not a nurse. <laughs> and so they explained to me, well, you know, this, when you call us, if there's an emergency, we will uh, help you through whatever we, we want you to use. And uh, so that you're not panicking while we're on the way. Because they said it could take up to 30 minutes to get somebody here in an emergency. And so, of course, I thought about that also because I'm not allowed to call 911 or uh, I don't think I can take her to emergency either as long as I'm on hospice. So why I, I'm having these thoughts, I don't know. You would have thought that I would have figured this all out before I committed for the second time to hospice. Um, 
the nurses very nice the people who signed me up the people who came to evaluate all very very nice gals and i haven't actually had a nurse yet come to clean up my mom on her first cleanup for the day uh, because today is only the third day and it's a sunday so uh, got any thoughts for me <laughs> in the meantime for myself and for my hubby i decided to fix my hair and you know my very easy ponytail and that's another thing I was uh, watching uh, Susan, Os uh, Susan Osborne, you know, Ozzy Osborne's wife, can't think of her name now. Anyway, uh, Sharon Osborne. And I was uh, watching uh, Jane Fonda. Now, Jane Fonda had the pixie hairdo, uh, but the last picture that I saw of her last night, she had her regular bob, you know, that's really nice and it goes back here. And uh, when I was younger, like in my Oh, late 20s I thought well you know when I hit 60 that's gonna be my hairstyle I'm gonna wear a bob well 60 came and I didn't feel old enough to wear a bob uh, and bobs are beautiful I love them <laughs> so you know you never know what you're thinking is gonna be when you get older and that's why I tell you gals uh, that are much younger than I am or maybe half my age or whatever uh, not to think ahead of yourself. Don't think, oh, when I hit 60, I'm going to be an old lady. Oh, I'm 50, and oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm 45, uh, you know. Mm -mm. Because when you become that 50 or that 60, or in my case, 70, my thoughts are still the same as when I was in my 20s and 30s. I don't really uh, think any different. I've never really felt physically different until this last couple of weeks, you know, when my uh, hips started hurting and my shoulders started hurting, but they're coming along good. Of course, I could always raise my arm. That wasn't a problem. But when I would lean back on something, you know, when I was sitting down, something back here I would touch and it would make my uh, shoulder sore here. So if anybody's ever had that, will you let me know what that's all about? Anyway, I did three or four uh, chiropractic things and uh, they, helped, they helped very, very much. So I haven't gone this past uh, three or four days. So uh, my sister was telling me, my sister Debbie was telling me that she started taking, because she has uh, fibromyalgia and you know, a couple of other things. So she's always taking really good, really good care of herself this last 15 years. But she told me she started taking these and they really helped her with pain and stiffness. Can you see what it is? Just in case, turmeric, 500 milligram, milligrams, supports antioxidant health. So she got me a jar yesterday because I told you that my whole family was sitting with my mom and my brother came out to Arizona also. And uh, right now he's at a hotel and. He, 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 he may be here until Wednesday. But anyway, my brother Steve from your Belinda, he'll probably come out tomorrow or Tuesday or something like that. I don't know. Uh, of course, my sister Debbie, you know, she's about an hour and 10 minutes away and she'll come because uh, she's not working now. And uh, they closed down her Kmart and she got a nice big check because she's been with them for, I don't know, 16 or 18 years. So I told her, Debbie, take some time off. You have been working, 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 going hard, hard, hard. And I know when she turned 50, she was really burned out. But she kept pushing herself because that's the way she is. She's a very responsible girl and, you know, has never lost her apartment or had to move out or nothing like that. She's always taking care of herself and her two little ones when she was a uh, single parent. Uh, and then she also brought me this because my lower back was aching you know, around the back of my waist. So I used it last night because she bought it yesterday. And uh, wow, it works great. It was has a very, very cooling effect. Well, max freeze, I guess that's why. Anyway, uh, it's greaseless. It wasn't sticky or anything. Of course, I put it on there and pulled my top up and make sure it was dry before I put my pajama top down. But, uh, 
I really liked it. So uh, I will be getting those again. And what else? Oh, I used a different product on my eyebrows today. I forgot that I had bought this. Now, when I bought this, I thought it was two different color powders. <laughs> anyway, it's a gel and powder eyebrow kit by e.l.f. And I've had it in my door for probably a month and a half. It's got two little brushes in here. No, it's got one brush with two ends. This is what it looked like. I used it this morning. So you put the gel on top of your eyebrows with this. And then you take the powder and follow where you put the gel. So uh, it's not bad. It's a, a lighter color. And I guess I've been wearing lighter eyebrows lately. Uh, so I'll use it up. I don't know if I'll buy another one. Like I said, I thought it was powder because the process on this is backwards than what I do because I put my powder on first, my light powder on first, and then I tap a darker brown, sometimes black pencil, from here down. Uh, but it's the same thing. You put in something uh, thicker and then a powder to shed it, okay? But I put my powder on first. <laughs> and the reason why I put my powder on first is because I can always take it off easier if, you know, if I don't like where it's at. But if I put pencil on first, you know, I have a bigger process of taking it off. So that's why the powder is first. Anyway, uh, you know, I had taken a little thicker section of my bang area and layered it. And that's why it looks a little shorter right here. Because layering it is when you pull it up and you hold the hair this way, right? And you cut it across the top. So it gets sh longer here and shorter down here. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> anyway, it's not all one length. Basically, it's a simple, uh, so, you know, uh, uh, hmm, is a simple way of explaining it. Okay. Well, um, I'm expecting my brother to call pretty soon, Freddie, from uh, his hotel room. And uh, probably won't wake my mom up because my mom uh, slept most of the day while they were here yesterday. But, you know, because we're both night owls, uh, by 3 o'clock or so, maybe 4 o'clock in the afternoon, she was, you know, waking up, and I was giving her another meal, and uh, after that she was wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, stayed awake until midnight when I finally said, time to turn the lights out. Now, what I did was I put the uh, hospital bed where her old twin bed was, and I put the twin bed over here, so there's a bed on both sides of the windows. And then her dresser, which is a low, long one, uh, fit perfectly under the window. So I laid on that uh, twin bed and watched TV with her until midnight. Uh, but now, mind you, I had been up since 7 o'clock in the morning when my brother Freddie called 11 and surprised me and said, uh, I want to see mom. Can I come over in 20 minutes? And I didn't even know he was in town. <laughs> but he told me he spent the night at the hotel the night before. So I said, sure. So uh, I put a little lipstick on, a little mascara, and that was it. And uh, never really put any more makeup on than that uh, the whole day. Yeah, so today, back to myself with my regular routine of makeup. So uh, I had my brother show up about 11. Uh, my sister Debbie showed up about 1. Uh, Bonnie showed up about 2.30. <laughs> uh, JR showed up, no, my brother Stevie showed up about, uh, hmm, 
3 30 4 o'clock also uh, oh my niece alice showed up in the middle somewhere there and stayed for about 20 minutes and she was she finally had a day off so she was going to have some fun uh and then uh my nephew jr showed up from las vegas and uh my nephew Debbie's uh, son and his wife and little girl showed up about five, I guess. So uh, everybody, I think, finally left about, I want to say, eight or nine o'clock last night. So uh, I did stay in bed a little bit longer this morning and decided, well, I better get up and get myself together because... I know I'm going to have company today also. So that's it. That's what's happened uh, yesterday. Did I mention? Oh, yeah, I did mention that I went to the dentist. I went to the chiropractor. No, yeah, the chiropractor. I went to the get my x-rays and uh, all that stuff. So it's all taken care of. Anyway, have a wonderful Sunday, everybody. And um, I'll be thinking about you. Don't know when I'm going to do my next video. And to be uh, honest with you, I have been thinking about uh, removing myself from YouTube for longer than a week. Uh, you know, my hubby's going to have his shoulder surgery in March. And I don't know how this whole hospice thing is going to turn out. And uh, I just know that this whole thing right now that I'm going through is getting very repetitious and uh, because that's all that's in my life at this particular moment I don't want to keep repeating myself and I don't think you want to keep hearing it either so <laughs> anyway those are the things that have been going through my mind that's what's going through my mind but uh, all in that I am so grateful that you know uh, and fortunate that I'm not someone who overeats if they have a little stress. I weighed myself this morning. I hadn't weighed myself for a couple of weeks and I'm still 119. And uh, so that makes me happy. Now, you know, I've never had a problem with phone, uh, food. I mean, you've only known me for a little less than a year and a half, but uh, I never had a problem with food and never had a problem with maintaining my weight. Uh, I think I told you before that my dad said that Bonnie and I would never be fat because we were built like his mom. And uh, so I, I guess he was right. I guess we got that grandma's genes. And uh, another thing for me to be thankful for. Okay. I'm thankful for you gals. And you fellas that are very nice to me. Thank you for uh, commenting and uh, thank you for making my baby video, you know, take off to the moon and uh, looking forward to doing that uh, dance video for you, whether it's a cha-cha lesson or a collab with anybody or a tag, you know, if anybody wants to join in, I think that's what a tag is. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate your uh, compliments on my videos and because uh, I mentioned to one gal well you know I just record what I'm going to record put it together real quick the way I record it and post it I don't have the fancy introductions I don't have uh, the fancy stuff that might flash on the video or old pictures at the same time and uh, I don't know any of that girls so like I've said four or five times, when I started this video, it was mainly to have something to do, uh, to see what's going out there in the world through uh, social media. And YouTube is the only thing that I'm on. And uh, it's been a blessing. It's been wonderful. Now, yesterday, my brother Freddie said uh, he was embarrassed because I had mentioned a couple of family things or showed things about my mom. And he says, uh, what made you get on YouTube? Well, I never got around to answer him because he kept saying something else. But uh, if you're watching Freddie Michelle, that is why I went on YouTube. 
At that time, I wasn't having inter any interaction with anybody. I wasn't going out, uh, even doing a little dancing. I wasn't doing anything except being home. And if I could sneak out for a movie or a bite to eat occasionally, I would do that while my mom was asleep. So uh, I just kind of feel now that a hospital bed is here, that now I have to be more homebound. So uh, that's where I'm at. <laughs> have a good Sunday, everybody. I'll be thinking about you. Thank you for the prayers for my mom and I, and for anyone out there who's having any difficulties. I will include the, the, all of you in my prayers. So uh, take care of that little girl inside of you because she will never, ever leave you. Okay? Mwah. Bye, everybody. Connie Murphy over 70 and still trying to stay glamorous. Bye. that's my outfit for today <laughs> and it's been raining here the last couple of days so just in case I get chilly Saturday goes all the way around to there. I caught the end of it, but my sister Debbie got a really good shot of it. Bye bye everybody.